Hi everyone and thanks for tuning in to our next video on how to solve a system of equations using your TI-84. In our last video we tackled graphing. So that's a check. We've already done that. In today's video we're going to figure out how to do elimination using the TI-84. We certainly already know how to do elimination by hand, but how does the calculator do it? So I have some examples set to go today. We're gonna to do two examples by elimination, and here's the first one. We're gonna solve the system. X minus four Y equals negative eight, and X plus two Y equals negative two, and we're gonna use elimination. So, don't need to do anything by hand, that's for sure. We're just gonna bring our TI here. So bring it on over, and I'll take you through the steps to do this here. Okay, in order to do elimination, on the calculator, you have to reference what's called a matrix. So everything about this is about this word, matrix. And you can actually see that word right here in blue. Do you see it right here, matrix? It's underneath the math key and above the X to the negative first power key here in blue. So to access the matrix anytime, we have to press the blue second key and then this X to the negative one key. So let's do that. Let's get in there. So let's hit second matrix. This is what's gonna come up. Now for us, we will really for this class only ever be using this first matrix, which is called matrix A. That's the name of it. But in order to solve a system, We've, and with every new problem, we're always going to have to edit the matrix before we can do anything with it. So we're actually going to arrow to the right two times to edit or put the data into matrix A. So after you're over here at edit, go ahead and press enter. Now they want us to size up the size of our matrix. So once we set this today, you will not have to set this again because when it comes to what we've been studying, systems of equations, all of our matrices here are two rows and three columns. One, two, three. So this is a two by one, two, three matrix, two by three. So that's what we're gonna type in here. So the first entry that's blinking here where it says a one, we're gonna type a two because we have two col or two rows, two rows. Then we'll arrow to the right and we have three columns and we'll hit enter. And if you look, what pops up is sort of what we saw on the example. Two rows, three columns, and there's room enough to type in six different numbers. So that's what we're gonna do. So here is the gist. What we're gonna do is, the first number that we enter into our matrix right here is the coefficient of this first X. We know that coefficient is a one. So we're gonna type in a one for our first entry. So type one, you'll see it show up here. It will only store up here when you hit enter. So go ahead and hit enter and now you see you have a one. That means one X. It automatically moves to the right. The next coefficient in front of this Y is a negative four. You have to take the sign. So make sure you're typing from the bottom negative and then four enter and that will show up. And then it bumps you over to the far right where we're gonna type negative eight. So again, negative at the bottom, oh, all the way at the bottom, negative eight, enter. And then it brings you to the bottom row. And we do the exact same thing over again. So we've got a one X, so we'll type a one. We've got a positive two Y, so we can just type a two. And finally, we have a negative two, so make sure you're using a negative, negative to enter. All the data is stored in there now into our two by three matrix. Now, the next thing you have to do is completely get out of here. Once you have your data typed in and you've edited your matrix, you wanna use the quit. So second quit or second mode, and you wanna come to a blank screen like, okay, I've entered it in and now I'm out of there. Now we wanna do some things with that matrix. 
So now you want to go back in. Second matrix, second matrix. Notice now it populates the fact that you have a two by three matrix in there. We've already done the editing. Now we want to do some calculations. So we want to go into math. So you're going to arrow to the right to highlight math. And we're going to arrow down. You always are going to choose the same thing. Down, down, past the number seven, past eight, past nine, past, keep going. You want to come to this letter, I guess it's a B there, that says R, R, E, F. R, R, F. Not the one above it. That just has a single R. We want the double. Okay? Choose that. Hit enter. And this comes up. So basically, this RR ref is you're, you're commanding the calculator to, hey, solve my matrix now, solve the system. The last thing you have to input here is which matrix are you talking about? We actually have to let the calculator know that it's that matrix A where we stored our data. So one last time, you have to go in second matrix, and you have to tell it, you have to name it. This one, number one, which is already highlighted. So you hit enter and what comes up is, okay, you want me to solve matrix A. Yes, I sure do. So you hit enter again and there, believe it or not, is the answer. Once you have the first four numbers here in this beginning of the matrix, once this says one, zero, zero, one, you know that the back two numbers here is the answer to your system. The top is your X and the bottom is your Y. So the answer to this system is negative four, one. Negative four, one. Ta-da! And if you run elimination by hand, you're gonna get the same answer. Okay, let's try another one. Second example. Now we're gonna solve this system. Very similar, 9x minus 2y equals 11, 5x minus 2y equals 15. Now just for kicks, let me show you something here. This is a pretty easy one to solve by hand, so I'm gonna do that. Let me solve this one by hand as a reminder, and then we'll do it on the matrix. So let me come off to the side here. So I'm gonna rewrite it because I don't wanna mess with this. I'm gonna need this in a minute. But if I have 9x minus 2y equals 11 and 5x minus 2y equals 15, and I ask you to solve that by hand, couldn't we just multiply the bottom equation by negative one? That will turn that to a positive 2y, which will knock out the negative 2y. So then we would have 9x minus 2y equals 11, that would stay the same. Here we would have negative 5x, positive 2y, and negative 15. That forces a knockout here. When I add 9 to negative 5, I get 4x. And when I add 11 to negative 15, I get negative 4. If I divide both sides by 4, then my x is equal to negative one, pretty simple. I can take that back to the top equation here. Nine times negative one is negative nine minus two y equals 11. I can add nine to both sides, which gives me negative two y equals 20. And if I divide both sides by negative two, my y is negative 10. So it's not too hard to do by hand. I just wanted to show you that answer to see if the calculator's truly getting the same answer. So now let's solve this on the calculator. All right, do you remember what to do? Take your calculator. We start by hitting second matrix. We kind of work from the right to the left. The first thing we have to do is edit the matrix because we've got our old junk in there from the first example. So hit enter. And now we wanna stick with the two by three. Let's come down, down, and start right here. And we're gonna type right over top of these. You don't wanna clear it. You can just type right over top with your new information. 
and we need the coefficient. So let's take a look. So we're going to need a 9. So let's type a 9. 9, enter. See how it replaces? Then we don't want a negative 4. We want a negative 2 and an 11. Bottom row, a 5, another negative 2, and finally, ah, and finally, a 15. 15. Now, this is the part I tend to always forget. Once you have all the, like, the new problem in, you must quit. Second, quit. You've got to, like, completely get out of it, right? You can clear that screen, everything. You're just back at a home screen. Now you want to go back in. So now you go second matrix again from scratch. And now you, we already did the edit. Now work your way back. Go to math. Well, which one? All the way down to that double R-R-E-F. Enter. You want to see that come up on your screen. But which matrix? Well, matrix A. Now we have to name it. So we go in again. Second matrix. Name it. It's number one. Enter. And there you have it. Enter. You check. Do I have a one, a zero, a zero, and a one? Yes, I do. That means the answer lies behind it. Negative one, negative ten. Negative one, negative ten. Negative one, negative ten. That's my X and my Y. And look, by hand, same answer. So that's a little bit more complicated because there's a lot of keystrokes. You actually end up pressing second matrix three total times because first you have to press second matrix to get in and do the edit. Once you have the edit done, you quit. Then you got to press second matrix to do the math and choose the R-R-E-F. The third time you press the matrix is to name the matrix. So you actually end up pressing second matrix three different times to get this solution. It's a great checking tool though. So I'm glad I showed it to you. So thanks for tuning in to this video. Now, the third and final video I'll be posting from this unit will be addressing how to use the TI-84 to graph our systems of inequalities with the shading. You've already done the shading by hand. You know these, the ones where you do a graph and then you like draw one line, draw the other line, and then you color the feasible region. Yeah, your calculator will do that too. So the next and final video for the TI-84 is gonna address this. So tune in for that. See you there.